Good morning and welcome to, uh, from the African Utility Week studio here in Cape Town. With me this morning I have Mike Ballard. Now Mike is the Senior Director Industry Strategy for the EMEA region for Oracle Utilities. Mike, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, we were talking a little bit earlier about uh, some of the experience that you've had working in and around Africa and I was wondering if you could tell me what are the trends that you're seeing within the markets at the moment for utilities? Well, a number of trends actually happening all at the same time. One of the, the key trends is a, is, a, is a real strong need to get more out of the assets that are in, in the grid and to optimise those assets. We're seeing the, you know, the extension of life of, of generation plant being a, a key factor as part of you know, building that capacity of generation in, in the region. Um, we're seeing a, an increasing uh, demand for electrification and accessibility to, to energy and looking at uh, many different ways of achieving that, either through extending the existing uh, transmission distribution infrastructure or through uh, providing some localised generation capability for, for certain regions. Um, on, the, on the workforce side, we're seeing trends in, in, in ageing workforce. We're having challenges around the ability for utilities to retain skills hmm. um, in, in the traditional industries of, of electrical engineering, mechanical engineering. Um, on the customer side, we're seeing customers becoming more digitally enabled, having greater demands on utilities, um, like you know, expecting utilities to respond to them in the ways that banks and telco companies uh, engage with their customers. So we're seeing a number of trends in customer, in, in mobile workforce, in skills, and in the, uh, in the asset side as well. So one of the things that I found particularly interesting in, in the conversations we've had over the course of the last couple of days is that as Oracle, you believe very strongly in building partnerships with with local companies. Yeah. Uh, could you give me some, or, or give our, re, our our audience some idea of the work that you've been doing in Ethiopia? Yeah, we've been uh, partnering with a, uh, a smart meter uh, manufacturing company called Deventus, uh, based in Addis Ababa. Um, they're working with the Ethiopian electricity utility uh, to roll out a smart meter pilot uh, in the Addis Ababa region. And our role is to, is, to, is to make sense of the data that comes from those smart meters. Okay. So the smart meters are part of an electrification program for Ethiopia that will eventually extend out to two million uh, meter points. And, uh, and our role is to, is, to, is to collect that smart meter information and get value out of it. Because one of the most important uh, challenges that utilities have when they embark on, on some of the newer technologies is actually getting the return on that investment that they were hoping to get. We see a number of utilities uh, embark on, on, on projects and then those projects don't, don't have the, the impact that the utility was hoping for. So our, one of our roles is to, is, to, is to help those utilities extract the most value from those smart meters when they get rolled out. And what have you found um, has, have, have the benefits been of working with a local partner uh, for a a local project? A number of benefits. I mean, um, one of the most significant benefits is that, the, is that and it's, it's the same globally, is that every country has a, has a different, a, a different um, demographic. They have a different geography. They have different politics. They have different economy. They have different environmental factors that, that change the, the, both the outcomes that utilities need for their, for their technology investments, but also the ability to actually launch those projects and, and make those projects successful can, can have very different challenges. So working with local partners allows you to really deeply understand the, the, local, um, the local environment in which those projects are being launched, the culture in which you and how you engage with, 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 with the customer population, but also the utility workforce as well. And of course they also have, it's very important in, in, in regions that are rapidly developing, because of these skill challenges, that you're using and, and nurturing skills in the country so that the country is able to build a capability in those disciplines of smart metering or electrical engineering rather than relying heavily on, on large amounts of external, uh, external support. They need to become self-sufficient. And what, <clears throat> what are you able to bring to the table in terms of best practice um, for your, your local partners and the utilities that you're working for? Yeah, so we, um, Oracle's a, a global company, so we have, we have utility customers from generation all the way through to, to customer systems um, in, 
you know, countries all around the world of all different types of markets, whether they're nationalized, whether they're privatized, but still, uh, still uh, vertically integrated, or whether these are uh, unbundled utilities. Regardless of the, the nature of those markets, Oracle has been working with utilities, water, gas, electric, heating, cooling, in all of those areas around billing, metering, workforce. So we've, we've gained a lot of experience. Um, personally, I'm ex-utility, I worked in the utility sector for 20 years myself. Um, and so we bring that expertise to, you know, to our customers. And we are, you know, we, we, we think it's very important that, um, that utilities are able to accelerate the adoption of technologies by you know, leveraging the, the expertise from, from global partners, but ensuring, as I, as I mentioned before, that you then embed those skills locally within, mm. that, within that country. And from the experience that you've had um, since you, I mean, obviously from your utility days, but also from working with Oracle, what do you think the priority areas are that utilities, particularly in Africa, should be focusing on at the moment? So I think if you took those three themes of, of, of assets, workforce and, and customer, on the, on the asset side, it's we, we believe there's a, a great opportunity for utilities to be able to uh, become more uh, proactive in their maintenance of, of assets, to, to use data, to use uh, analytics to inform them as to which assets they should be um, focusing their investment and their maintenance on, rather than uh, approaching it in a kind of cyclical um, uh, type of way, which, which becomes, you know, which, which isn't providing the biggest bang for your buck. Yeah. Um, it often can lead to missing uh, key, you know, key issues with your assets, which can lead to outages or, or to safety issues. So we, th we see that as being a, a key focus area, is starting to use the data that's coming, you know, that's available to utilities now, but also the higher volumes of data that are going to be available as, as technologies you know, roll out smart metering, roll out more granular information on assets. So a more predictive uh, approach to, to maintenance um, will, will also help not only the, the assets themselves, but will help the workforce become more productive. They'll, they'll get a, a larger uh, success from the same number of workforce. Okay. On, the, on the customer side, I think that the key focus area is, is improving the revenue management side. So there's a, a great opportunity as you start to increase metering, smart or otherwise, um, you are able to start increasing the accuracy of the, of the bills you're sending to customers. You're able to help uh, provide customers with many different ways of being able to both manage their payments of that, of that but also manage their consumption. So if customers wish to, to, to reduce their energy bills, the utility is able to inform them about, based on their usage profile, how can that customer change their usage to, to perhaps uh, you know, reduce their energy bill. It also helps target customers around things like uh, self-generation. So if you were, uh, the, 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 uh, the lady from Cape Town, um, the mayor of Cape Town last night was talking about you know, increasing the amount of self-generation in, in, you know, in the market to help customers both uh, reduce their energy bill, but also help you know, feed some energy back into into the network. That localized generation is a you know can be achieved if you're able to target the right type of customers who have the right you know economic position, who have the right usage profiles. So a lot of opportunities there uh, to, to help push the customer side of retail. And and, this, and, and, and finally, in, in the workforce piece, the, the skilling of, of what we're finding is the universities are in globally are pushing out a lot more data and IT uh, skills, that's a very popular area, mm. less so uh, reducing so perhaps in the engineering side. But that's, that's, not a, that's, not a, that's not a risk actually, because what we're seeing is a much larger adoption of technology by utilities to solve their problems. So actually you know, nurturing the, the IT and technology skills um, in universities to help uh, utilities perform in the future is going to be a, a key focus area. So it sounds like there's quite a lot of opportunity and certainly a lot of, um, I guess, interesting times ahead technolo technologically yeah. for, for utilities. Um, I think it's going to be quite interesting to see how Africa is able to adapt, I guess, these big opportunities for utilities to take enormous leaps and bounds as far as technology is Absolutely. concerned. Absolutely. I think the, you know, the necessity you know, breeds... Uh, I've, got the, I've got the line now. <laughs> I've got the line. I had <laughs> Necessity is the mother of all invention, it isn't it? Thank or you very much. To That's that. exactly what I was trying to say. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, and, that, and I think Africa is, you know, is, is, is skilled probably like no, no, no other region in the world mm. to, to find new, new ways of, of solving, solving their particular challenges. Yeah. 
I was, I was very interested to see in the presentation that you did with Deventus that one of the things you were particularly trying to highlight was around African solutions for African utilities. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that that is, um, you know, it's, it's good to obviously address challenges that are specific to each utility or each region's unique situation. Yeah. Every, every utility around the world, even within a country, is different. Mm. You know, my experience is, is that you know, even in the UK, where I come from, the utilities in the UK are all different. They all have different goals, different, different visions, uh, different ways of working. And so every utility actually is, is quite different. And so it's, it's, you cannot come to a utility with the same you know, with, with the same set of solutions. You need to have flexible solutions. Utilities are learning as they're evolving, and so they need agile solutions that can flex and move with that utility, for sure. Okay. Great. Mike, thank you for the time. It's Unfortunately, we, uh, we're, we're out of time for this morning. Um, that was Mike Ballard from Oracle Utilities. Thank you for listening. I'm Claire Falkvane, signing off from African Utility Week.